Hello everybody, I'm Mowen and Wasden. This is Valheim once again. We still got plenty of time before that flax and barley that I stole from that fulling village is harvestable. And to kill time until it's ready, I've been trying to clean all of the valuable loot out of that fulling village, but a random pack of wolves that happened to come all the way from the mountains only to murder me here in the plains appeared. And they made clearing out that village of the valuable stuff very difficult. But they're gone now, except maybe a couple of stragglers. But that won't be much of a problem. They won't be swarming all over me this time around. Which means I can safely make a clean sweep of this fulling village over here. And I'm gonna need a handful of those idols that these fullings like to carry around sometimes in order to summon the boss. And that's gonna be easier said than done. When I was playing this game on my own, I had the benefit of getting a hold of a metric fuckton of those idols while still trying to find the damn boss so that I was ready to summon him as soon as I got there and Rather than leaving this stuff just laying around out in the open, it would probably be a better idea to cram it into a treasure chest so I don't accidentally pick it up again. There we go. Anywho, them idols will probably take some time to find. With a little luck, I might find one of them here in this village. But it is unlikely... I mean, this isn't a very big fulling village. They just happened to have a flax and barley farm that I could steal from. And that's real helpful for making the equipment and the fire resistance potion and some better food things. But not very helpful in terms of being able to summon the boss. Which is pretty important. And I think this place is cleared out of all the stuff worth taking. I think, anyway. I believe I did a pretty good job of sweeping it over. And I think that's just wolf meat and fur, which I don't want. Very weird of that to happen out here in the plains them wolves. They are mountain-dwelling creatures. They've no business being in the plains. But who am I to tell them no, aside from being the guy who just flat out destroyed them, only to be destroyed by them? Exactly. That's who I am. That's who I shall be. And I need you to be the corpse on the ground that gives me metal. I also need to find a place where these fallings happen to keep those idols. They're usually can be found in the village. They are occasionally dropped by the big fallings. And maybe the smaller ones from time to time. But if I find a structure, I will also likely find one of those idols within it. Undoubtedly guarded by some of these green little bastards. They like to protect their idols. And I like to steal things that are protected. So it works out well for both of us, and I think I see a structure out in the distance. Hey, there's another one of these little turd burglars. Uh, what am I seeing? I just saw something erupting. What the fuck? Growth? 
I don't remember this being in the game before. But it... Oh god, I'm tarred. And they're poisonous. That's very good to know. Let me drink my juice. And you can fuck off while I try to get away without getting further tar and poison all over me. Well, this isn't going to end well now, is it? Come on, wear off with the tar. I need that tar to wear off. God damn it. Fuck me sideways, why don't ya? Emergency food. And nothing in there. Uh, more emergency food. I gotta have something in there that's good. There's never anything good when you need it. Eh. I need some good food. I don't, don't think I have any more cooked boar meat. Fine, I'll cook me a boar meat. Forcing me to cook a boar meat. How dare you, game? How dare you? And I'll also be taking this with me. That will be very helpful if I happen, to happen upon those growth things again. I did not think I would be having need of poison resisty juice. And against my better judgment, I'm going to try to run back completely naked. I can try. Doesn't mean I'll have a lot of success, especially if I get moited by a death mosquito along the way. But hey, I'm a gambling man! And last I saw, it seemed to be raining there in the plains. And if it's still raining, ew, they got little blue flowers. Yes, I don't think death mosquitoes come out in the rain. I could be tragically wrong about that. And if that's the case, I could end up tragically dead again but at least I won't have to worry about my inventory being all clogged up when I try to grab my shit oh god they do come out in the rain death mosquitoes are in the rain I feel cheated and lied to but if I can make it to my stuff I should be fine, because you get that corpse run bonus. Oh, damn. That makes your health regenerate insanely fast. Give me my stuff. All right, corpse run bonus. We're good. Health and stamina regenerates insanely fast. So, can you maybe fuck off for a moment, bug? I got business to take care of that involves putting my clothes back on. And it'll be very hard to do with you buzzing into my ass. You fuck off. You fuck off. There's my opening to get dressed. And come on with that cape. Yeah, we're good. Now I'm ready for you. Boom, bitches. All right. Ow. Why? Why do you have to follow me here, growth? Eh. Damn you, quit pushing me back. I'm trying to close the distance so I can murder you. There's the goo spray that you're still pushing me back with. And now I gotcha. Tar. I can make shingle roofs now. That's cool. But... Yeah, that is cool. That's all there is to it. But does that tar make good foods? It probably doesn't. I wouldn't imagine being able to make food with tar. But you'd be surprised what you could eat if you thought it was food. And yeah, this appears to be another fulling village. So... We've got another place that I could potentially raid. And of course, we just gotta clear out the dudes so that I can actually raid the damn place peacefully, mind you. But since when is it ever peaceful trying to raid a village? Never, that's when. 
you got lots of killing to do if you want to make any headway on it. That's right, you big motherfucker. Oh dear, he's got friends. Well, can't be having that. Gotta clear you boys out before I get my head clubbed in by the big man. You need to actually stumble when I hit you, please. Come on now, back off, Biggie. Biggie Smalls, you're killing me, Smalls! And you hold still. All right, you're good. And I just need a little breath in me. All right. Now you ain't too much of a problem now that you have no friends to distract me. And boom, bitch. Do you seriously have more friends crawling out of the woodwork? I see the fucking growth over there is whittling them down. Them fullings are in trouble, it would seem. And I might as well capitalize on this confusion, take care of some of this growth myself. If they are dead, I won't have a problem with them. Since I still got my poison resistance on, I won't have too much to worry about. Hmm. But there's still the matter of the dudes. I can. I did they Yeah, I think they did. I think they beat the growth. They beat back the growth. Which means now they only have one target, and it's a target that doesn't want to be targeted. Come on, you little bastard. I'm too scared. Me too scared to go for the attacks. I don't want to go on the offensive when there's this many of them. Retreat. That's all you can do is run. Maybe I can actually get up on this rock here. But I'm up on the rock. Ha <laughs> ha, you guys suck. You are helpless. And you're all gonna die. Oh, so horribly. Uh-oh. I slid down the mountain. That's not good. It's very bad when you slide down the mountain, you see. Because then, the guys that you're trying to evade can get within sword reach of you. And that's not the way I thought it was. Damn. I need to escape. I need to be safe. And without that bug, things get a little less dangerous. So, alright, I think I... Think I I think Portal is in this direction. I could be wrong, you know. But at least I'm headed somewhere safer. All we can do is kite them, shoot them a couple of times, try to whittle them down. That's what we gotta do. It might be kind of a bitch move, but it's the only move I got that doesn't put me in extreme danger. Ow, he cut me with his little dagger. Them daggers are very cutty. They are sharp, they are deadly. And you can't get over this one foot rock. So there. Oh god, he can get over the one foot rock. I'm screwed. My plan's falling apart. But there we go. All right, I think it's just two of you at once. That much I can handle. All right, I shook off most of the crowd. And there we go. We're good. Now, let me see. My portal's over there. I believe their village was back here. Of course, I may run into the dudes that I lost on the way back, but I can handle them if it comes down to it. Of course, I might just end up running away and shooting them again, but hey... If it works, it works. Pew! Gotcha! Now... Oh, I'm seeing more erupting goo. Yeah, that's the tar pit I would like to avoid. Because there may be some more of that growth coming out of it. So, let's not step into it. There is the village. Let me be 
sure to mark that down. Village. There we go. So now I know where that is. And I see a dude up in that tower who doesn't need to know that I'm here. There you go. One shot, one kill, just the way I like it. Now, am I about to get viciously assaulted? Probably. Okay, there's only like a few guys here. But, yeah, that's more than I'd like to face all at once. And it's getting dark. And I do not want to be caught out in the plains after dark. Take that, you little turds. There you go. Where'd you go? There you are. You can't escape from me. Booyah. There, I believe the... I believe that clears out their place. Now, I need a nice little nap. So that I'm not stranded in the dark with these guys. And they like to swarm the place at night. Traveling in roving bands of murder parties. It sounds like it would be a lot of fun. But only if you're in the party and not on the murdery side of things. And, let's face it, those little guys are kinda racist. I mean, look at me. I look completely different from them, and they tried to kill me on sight. What did I ever do to them? All I did was set foot in the plains, and they're like, Nope, you gotta die. Seriously, the nerve of some people. Hey, look, there's a couple of locks here. And, I ain't gonna try to hunt them. At least not at the moment, anyway. Their meat is real good, and you can make a cape out of their fur. Which I will need to... Uh-oh. Get out of the water. Please move. You go back to where you belong, please. I don't want to deal with you, and I don't want you tearing down my walls and fucking up my crops. They are some powerful beasts. And I don't want to have to mess with them right now, especially in the dark. But it looks like I might have to. Oh god. No, no, no. Go away, Mr. Loxypoo. Eh. No. Bad. That's a bad little Lox. Don't do the poundies. Eh. I won't allow it. That's right, you better run. Or. Ow, that's the bite. The bite comes out quick. Go away, damn you. Stop following. Do not do the follows. I will lead you through the trees. These trees might obstruct you a little bit. Please stop following me. I don't want to have to fucking kill you, but I will if I have to. There, how you like arrows? Yeah, go away, go away, go away. I know you could easily destroy my puny little barricade, which I would like to avoid, but it might be out of my control. At least if I die here, I'm just inches away from my portal, so it won't be too bad of a run back. Yeah. I noticed it just said that this lox happens to be frightened, but if it's frightened, wouldn't it be running away from me instead of trying to bite my goddamn face off? Hey, where are you going? I thought you wanted to kill me. I guess you must not want it that bad if you ain't charging me down trying to bite me. But I got arrows. Arrows is all I need to put you in the ground. That's a new move I've never seen them do. But it doesn't matter. They can't use that move if I'm not within that move's range. Pew. You can keep on stomping your feety feets. All I gotta do is keep enough of a distance to sink some arrows into ya. And I will be safe. I almost got gotcha you now. Okay, fuck you. What? Are you kidding me right now? 
Of course, it's not bad enough that I got a fucking lox trying to pound me into the ground. Now there's Fullings joining the battle. All right, you are still alive. Why in the fuck did my sword pass through your chin and do no damage? Fuck off with that bullshit. Make it morning right now. Make it morning right fucking now. Hurry up. There, it's morning. I'm gonna go get my shit back. I'm gonna kill that goddamn lox that was literal, a literal itch from death. But he just happened to cheat. Because he's a big old cheaty pants. That's what he does. And that's what he do. Do he does the do? In duty does he does he do? Now let me get back into the pleans. Grab my shit. And take my well deserved vengeance. Oh I am. Back for revenge, that's why. Now, my revenge will be had as soon as I get my stuff and find where that big bloated meat beast went. And am I safe? No, the fuck I'm not. Goddamn bugs. Leave me the fuck alone. There you are, you big mother of an ass you die you also die and you you are going to regret stepping to me there sweet delicious revenge give me your stuff I got the meat I got your pelt you need to not follow me at all I know you're curious about me, but I can't have you being frightened by my presence enough to attack me relentlessly. Okay. I shook him off. I think. But he's still coming in this direction. Alright, we're good. I think. I just need to get rid of that. There we go. All good. All good. All great. All think. That is what we do. We think about what we did around here, and then we regret our actions and wish that we'd never done them in the first place. We realize that we're a bunch of fucking idiots. Or at least I realize I'm a bunch of fucking idiots. Tar. Yeah, that's right, I picked up Tar. Anywho, let's get the fuck up on out of here. That lox cape is likely to add more protection than wolf skin cape, and it'll also look better doing it. I also got that barley which I can cram into the windmill on this side I got some growing but oh yeah sorry about that anywho that's gonna spit out flour which will be used to make foodie stuff and I believe you can use that lox meat to make a lox meat pie but I don't remember whether or not it needs to be cooked before raw. I will figure that part out. And then I will get back to you on that in the next episode when I have all of the preparations for facing the next boss complete. Maybe. I should not make promises that I cannot keep. But either way... I'm out of time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me again in the next one. Bye!